My name is Shamanda Burston, a young woman from a small town in a big city. I'm a licensed therapist, real estate broker, inspirational speaker, executive producer, and single mom of two. Midnight, the clock in the morning, watching the door, swimming and yawning, in the makeup tones with a snack, then I try to get that disease that I lack. So tired, so tired, feeling sleepy, guess I got the addicts from the door down. My life is busy and a bit complicated at times, but I have one goal in life. That is to help people help themselves. Today I'm meeting up with my good friend and former Steelers player, Marshall McFadden, just to catch up on his life and his growing football career in the CFL. Hey, what's going on, Technology. I know, right? If it weren't for <laughs> Skype or uh, uh, FaceTime, I don't think my kids would know because uh, I've been gone so much. I know. How old since are they, they now? Were born, my son's four, my daughter too. And since both of them, you know, I've been playing ball since they was, you know, before they were born. So still going on with the process. For about five more years, then they're going to have all the time they want with. <laughs> True. Well, I won't be here to miss them. Why not? What's <laughs> they, they, they come get on each other, they come get on, and then after they get their resume, they zoom off to somewhere else, such as Atlanta, the Cali, the Texas, but it's all cool. Yeah, it's time though, you know, I'm here for almost two years, so I came here from Shelby, small town. Shelby, I heard about Shelby, that's like how far I've been Like 45 minutes south, it's not too far. Yeah, I heard about Shelby. You're from a small town too, right? Yeah, I am. I am from a small town uh, called Lamar, South Carolina. People probably never heard. I've never heard never. of that. <laughs> it's a small population. I think in my high school I graduated probably about maybe 50 people. What? Yeah, maybe 50 That's people. That's small. I think we got, we bigger than y'all. Oh, yeah, yeah. We wouldn't <laughs> Wow. But we, it was a good school though. Like, we do so, you know, good students. Uh, high rate of uh, the kids going to college. Yes. Also, a uh, pro ball player. Not college, pro ball player. And from a 1A school, that's just, wow. that is big, you know, to see how small we are. So. How do you feel like you went from like small town to like play for the NFL over the years? Well, actually, you know, when I first started off, like in my hometown and stuff like that, it was just, uh, it was just having fun. You know, but just to make a long story short, you know, uh, Football, you know, brought the best out of me. It gave me an opportunity. And I, I don't know if it wasn't for football, I thought I would be able to see the world like I see it today. I had some people to come in my life at an early age, you know, around junior high, high school. And, uh, and yeah, Caucasian people, of yeah, course. And, yeah, uh, I saw that. Yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, my mom and my pops. And, uh, they came into my life, which, you know, I had a mom and pops, and, you know, they did what they could do for me, and uh, I, I, you know, I respect that and it's still to this day. And then, you know, my other mom and my pops came yeah. into the kitchen, and they were able to, uh, you know, help me in different ways than my regular parents. But I try to, like, I get young men to ask me questions, and it's like, I can't give them advice from a male from Well, for, for young guys, you know, my thing is that, you know, just being in the NFL, you know, being in high school, going through things coming up as a kid, but just from a young guy's standpoint, don't think on sports or uh, athletics, you know, don't do not do it because it's so much of a small window, yeah. and everybody good in elementary or, or high school, you know, and then once you go to college, that circle gets smaller, right. and the circle don't even get even smaller once you go to the NFL, so being a star in your high school, I mean, absolutely nothing, wow. you know, and, and, a, and a lot of kids get you know, hyped up by people, especially family. Yes. You know, my son and my nephew, you my cousin. Yeah, they're going to get the, mm -hmm. and 
mm-hmm. and kids feed into that. Yeah. You know, and uh, and then once they go off to college, and you got a lot of other kids coming from different parts of the world, just as good as they are. Mm-hmm. And a lot of kids don't know how to deal with that, you know, being not as good as right. they thought they were. So it end up setting them back, they go through things, and uh, a lot of them don't even make it out. You know, but the ones that do make it out get a chance in the NFL. And the NFL lifespan is two years. What? I didn't know two, that. Yeah, the NFL lifespan is two years. Wow. Yeah, so if you're able to play beyond that, it's a blessing to get you know, your benefits and tie and all that good stuff. What's so your luckily plan? for me, <laughs> you know, I was able to get that. But, uh, <laughs> actually, my plan, you know, I, I went to play in the CFL last year. Yes, that's uh, a great, A great experience for me. I think that leads 50. You know, uh, I think I'm loved there. You know, I, I like the camaraderie. You know, but at the end of the day, when somebody give you an opportunity to let you go out there and showcase your talent and then embrace them, they make you want to go back and do more. You know, I'm under another I'm under another year contract. And um, I'm going to go there this year and you know, see what I can do. And you never know what happens to me. And I'm standing over there. I'm going to come back down south. You got to come back. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, my God. But yeah, so that's, you know, that's my life story wrapped up in a little bundle. You know, that's good. No, I, I got to come back. Motivate and inspire people. It's just all about. You definitely, you definitely do that because I tell you no lie, man. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night. Of course, when you when you wake up in the middle of the night, what's the first thing you do? Check Instagram. You check, you, <laughs> you check your phone. So yeah. I'm looking at my phone. I'd be like, what does she got going on? But I respect that because every yeah. time on Instagram, you always promote some of your business or your content. And uh, people need a motivation. You never know who you want to motivate by saying those small things and doing those things. But some people, a lot of people look up to you. You never, you really you know about it. You know, so uh, keep doing what you're doing. I know you're a single mom. My mom was, you know, I ain't gonna say a single mom. You know, but she did a lot by herself and a uh, five kids. So yeah, and she made it through. But at the end of the day, you know, keep doing what you're doing. I respect that. I really do. One hundred percent. She's alive. So don't go to Atlanta. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Let's go get something to eat. Come on, let's go. Never let your obstacles keep you from sin And hey, we all make mistakes, we just human beings Hey, I'm just trying to make a dollar living out my dreams Hey, fuck a record deal, tell them give me 50 G's And I'll bring back a meal without a Jay-Z Hey, reach for the top, I guarantee the sun will shine Hey, never imitate, sorry I can only be I got a one-way ticket and it's right on time Yeah right on time i got a one-way ticket and it's right on time ain't never imitating sorry i can only be i got a one-way ticket and it's right on time never let them hold you back ain't never ever let these blood suckers hold you back ain't never ever let these blood suckers hold you back ain't never ever Hey, never, ever, yeah. ever. I'm on a mission trying to give my people oxygen. Ain't cause they can't breathe in a world of hopeless men. And so I strip eternal verses with a piss of pen. And girl, you beautiful no matter what skin you in. Never let the chains of Babylon.